Hi, I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. Thanks for choosing to watch this clip from our Small Town Big Deal YouTube channel. For full episodes, go to our website, smalltownbigdeal.com. Now, enjoy the video. This is the Piscataquis River in central Maine. It's just a few miles from the town of Atkinson, or about 30 miles northwest of Bangor. Atkinson has a population of about 300, and should the names Rollin Thurlow or Jerry Stelmick ring a bell, well then you're either a longtime resident or there's something else that floats your boat. What these guys have done is really nothing short of amazing. Roland Thurlow and Jerry Stalmuck were motivated by a passion that dips deep into the American spirit. You know, I'm never tired of going to work, really. It's that desire to make a living by realizing a dream. Well, I finally did start making money, and yeah. that was nice. If you like to traverse America's waterways, specifically in a wooden canoe, then you might call them the wooden canoe gurus. Okay, let's split up. Who do you want? I think Jan and Jerry has a nice ring to it. Okay, then Rodney and Rollins sounds pretty good. All right, okay. see you later. All right, see okay. Rollins handcrafts canoes, but much of his business is repair work. Today he's fixing a hundred year old canoe. Oh. Wow, Rollins, this is nice. You have got a woodworker's paradise here. I would have to say you got the whole shoot match. Well, <laughs> uh, it's collected over the years. It didn't, <laughs> didn't quite start out this like this, but. Uh... This is really a unique business. How did you get in it? Oh, uh, I wanted to work with my hands, and, uh, and uh, I found this uh, uh, wooden boat building school in, in Maine. And uh, Who knew? Uh, who knew? <laughs> and uh, so I went to the school, and uh, Jerry Stelmach was there, and we were both interested in canoes, and uh, pretty soon we had a canoe building business. You must be Jerry. So I walk into Jerry's workshop and I just go, wow, these are beautiful. Really? Well, thank you. Jerry does some repair work, but much of his business is handcrafting wooden canoes. And his craftsmanship, well, it speaks for itself. It's a piece of artwork in a way. You know, it's, it's craft more than it is art, but it's very visual, very aesthetic. This is really artisan craftsman type work. It's a very small uh, niche market, uh -huh. uh, so they're custom built for each individual customer, so each one's a little bit different. But there was a time over a century ago when tens of thousands of wooden canoes were produced annually during what was known as America's Canoe Craze. There were a lot of canoes on the Charles River in the late 19th, early 20th century. Right in Boston, there was huge canoe clubs, liveries, courting was done on the river. At the height of its popularity, the wooden canoe was considered America's love boat. So I wonder, was there a marriage proposal on this boat? Uh, how many romantic dinners were out on this boat, or lunches, or picnics, or? You know, people come in and say, well, you know, we, we took our honeymoon in this boat, or, or my grandparents took their honeymoon, or bought it. And some of the canoes had, had great big decks on them, and that made the cockpit more closer. Oh, mm. where do the chaperones sit? The chaperones were left ashore. That was what was so great about it. Score, yeah. yeah. This thing could talk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the canoe craze passed, and demand for wooden canoes all but dried up once cheaper materials like vinyl and aluminum were developed. It wasn't feasible for large companies to mass produce them anymore, so they went to guys like Rollin and Jerry to meet a dwindling demand. This was a, a really fading industry when we got into it about 1975. But we really believed in these things. We loved them and we couldn't believe that other people wouldn't as well. The problem was that few people knew anything about making wooden canoes. And those who did, well, they kept it as quiet as the Piscataquis on an early summer morning. You know, Jerry and Rollin really wrote the book on canoes. <laughs> Literally. And while the wood and canvas canoe never topped the New York Times bestseller list, it did stir up enough interest that they brought this craft form back from the brink. Enough like-minded individuals who had read the book seemingly crawled out of the woodwork, wanting to learn what they could about making canoes. There was enough demand that Rollins started making how-to videos. Hello, I'm Rollin Thurlow, owner of the Northwoods Canoe Company. 
Soon, both began offering canoe-making classes. Key to this type of canoe construction is building the canoe over a very strong and stable form. These upside-down looking canoes are called forms and are all over their shops. Wood is cut and bent over them to make part of a canoe. To bend wood, you need some steam. This is a beer keg and we just pour water in there, steam comes up through the pipe and right into this wooden box. So these steam... This is white cedar. So if I stand over there... Get a facial. Yeah, a little yeah, beauty perfect. treatment. Okay. Well, it hasn't helped me, has it? Of course, the steam is uh, the, the same steam that uh, you use to uh, cook your lobster with, too. So that's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, is it hot? It's hot! No, it's not so hot that it's going to burn you. <laughs> now we're going to be put to work. Sure. So this is the, uh, the 1913 uh, B.N. Morris canoe. It's had a hard life, so we've replaced the, the rails here. Grab the end and start stretching it down. This one's going to be perfect. So we have to drill through the top of the rib. Am I supposed to be following that yep, metal yeah, follow part? Follow the metal band. Rowan, about how long does it take you to, to redo a boat like this? Might be a nine-month process. You're doing just... Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, Jerry. You say I'm doing just fine, and you can't see a thing that I'm doing. Well, I'd have heard if you weren't. Okay. Yep. Is that? Okay. You're hired. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing how that bent. When you order one of their canoes, you'd better be patient. Well, the waiting time can be anywhere from a year or more. You know, we've had a we've had waiting list for two years. But we can see why it's worth the wait. This is so beautiful, so peaceful. So what do you like better, building them or being in them? Oh, being in them, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love this glass river. It's beautiful, it's peaceful, the water is clear. These are all wooden canoes, and isn't all the wood from the trees around here? I mean, it's just a wonderful connection. You know, it's, it's made of the uh, materials of the forest, and you're going through the forest. You got the, the wooden canoe, it's in the water where it's naturally supposed to be. You can almost feel like an early American explorer, you know, just in your imagination. Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.